Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video I want to speak about the Synology NAS and the DSM-7. I will in this video show how we can make uh, a syslog server. So we basically can send in the syslogs from uh, a second place directly into Synology and catch the, all the logs so you can do whatever you want with the logs. My normal procedure is the logs should be on the server but over time when I'm working with a lot of uh, different servers it could be very useful to have all the logs on a single server. So it's much faster to, to search in and it's very easy to find which uh, servers make the different uh, errors and something like that. And the idea is coming from Docker where I'm using the Docker Swarm and I need a way to control all the logs. So I'm starting to investigate how the easiest way to do uh, in this case, I know the the Synology have uh, Docker, but it's only a single instance Docker version. What I'm running on, I run on different Linux distribution, distri yeah, on other operation systems. It's much easier for me to say. And uh, then I need to get logs out here. So that's what we're going to learn today. And I will show you a simple Docker from my desktop, where I'm just sending logs request directly into my Synology server here. So let's go ahead and before I really hope you want to um, subscribe to this channel by clicking on the thing below in the video and if you have any questions please make a comment below I'll try to answer you and thank you for the likes and shares. So the first thing we're gonna do is installing the log sender. You can find it here in the app store, log sender. And it's not an app store, it's a package center, sorry. Then you click inside and this is what we, we need. Yeah, and join beta because I'm running on a beta software right now. It's a DSM 7 beta and um, it's downloading and after it's downloading, it should be installed. Now it's installing and it's running and then we can open it. Close back the, the package center and uh, it's recommended to you to Go for the package and then install the logs and the package and get the advanced feature including this sending the receiving logs and da 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 da. And we just close this down because that's what we have done. I will open up here and you can see we already have traffic here. And yeah, we don't have anything here. So what we're gonna do it's going for the archive and we need to select a folder and we don't have any shared folder so we just create a new folder here just call it logs use for logs in there. and enable this one is doesn't need it and we just say encrypt the shared folder nope enable checksum nope and we just say next that's fine for us and uh, we just apply. Going back and see what we have here. So lock and select down. What we're gonna do here is uh, we say the database size should could be on three gigabyte or one gigabyte. The number of logs is greater than one uh, ten million. We can set it down to one million. Just keep it on ten million and put up to three gigabytes. And lock time is older than, let's say, six months. We don't need anything about it. It's older than six months, I think. And I think it's uh, we need to compress the locks, and we want to use the archive locks separately on the device and everything else running on the system. We need to send in the lock folder here. Just click on apply and then we are good to go for the next step it's going for the lock receiving so let's creating the the one and call it the uh, external uh, test lock data and just say custom format and use the the add icon we don't use tcp we only use udp and we use the default port number here that's fine for now so just do what we can to yeah receive locks here. So that's fine for us. 
let's go back here and see what's happening. You can see something uh, it's going on. And now it's, it's good. We have the DSM YouTube and virtual DSM, the logs, and we have none and others. So that's cool. Now it's basically time to create the, the first the Docker uh, Compose. I will uh, open my editor now and I will just explain what I'm doing. So let's open the editor here and I can still see on the right here, I can see the IP address. So in my Docker version, I want to use 3.7, whoops, 3.7. And the service I want to run should be nginx test. And I want to use the image nginx just for fun. And what I want is the locking here and that driver should be syslog. When you're using the syslog, that's meaning you need uh, your local machine or you need uh, external machine. And normally you want to use the external machine like uh, like my Synology NAS or if you want the local one then you basically just keep the JSON format as its default almost. Then we want the options and we say syslog address and my address is UDP UDP and 100 and this and this and 120 and then we need the port number is 540 14 sorry and then we save it and docker compose up that's the only thing we need and it should be running here and get ready to configuration and if i keep going back here you can see we are sending logs inside and you can see the level here is, is notice so what we can do in, in rules is we, we need to take that out and say the rules should not be um, should not be included here so we can make rules for that but for now that's fine so if I'm going back for my editor and close it down and open it up again then you can see we, we spikes again it's, it's restarting so if something is going wrong and the container is restarting and then we can see that and you can see all the logs here so to show you where the logs is I'm going for the file station and you can see the logs here the log should be for, for this user that's that's basically the where it's come from my, my desktop here so so it's having the separately folder for all the logs this depends on the host and I think that's a very good way to keep up the logs in organized because when you have a, a huge amount of servers you always have control about the servers because the server doesn't change the IP address that's very dangerous if you're operating with the servers and and that's way so I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope you understand what's happening here else you can make the questions below in the comments and I will try to answer you as fast as I can and I really love if you want to subscribe my channel by clicking on the link below in the right corner for the video. Thank you so much for like and share this video. Hope to see you next time. Bye.